Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are going to cover a common use case for Apache Airflow. I have received few questions on the recent Airflow video about how do we run SQL scripts that are stored in a directory outside of DAG. This is a common use case for Apache Airflow to orchestrate SQL scripts. Let's say we have the following script. This must run after our data is extracted and loaded into Postgres database. And we want to schedule this post the data extraction. This script assumes that we have the following tables in the database. Stage products, stage product category, and stage product subcategory. Using this script, we combine these tables into one for presentation layer that supports reporting and analysis. Let's write a DAG that will help us run and schedule the script. We import the required libraries at the top. We need the date time, DAG, and the Postgres operator. We define the default args for this DAG, where we define the owner, DAG start date with the help of date time. Then we provide an email address and set the email on failure flag to true. Finally, we set the number of retries. Now we can define our DAG. Let's start with the DAG ID and we will provide a meaningful name here. To the default args, we provide our default args variable. The schedule interval is set to once and we don't want to backfill data, so we will set the catch up to false. To execute SQL files from a folder, we need to provide the template search path and we set the value to the folder where our SQL files are saved. We define a few tags to group the related tags together. Now, we will execute the SQL file located in the opt SQL folder with the Postgres operator. We provide a task ID for this task. After that, we provide the Postgres connection ID. The connection is defined under admin and connections. To the SQL argument, we provide the name of our SQL file, which is dimproduct.sql. This task is saved in the joint products tables variable. Now we call this variable. This is our completed DAG that will run and schedule our SQL script. Let's save this DAG and view it in the Airflow's UI. Our DAG is listed here. Let's have a look at our target schema. We have the three staging tables that we'll use as our source. And our DAG will produce a final table called dim products once the DAG executes successfully. Back in Airflow's UI, let's enable this DAG and give it a run. Our DAG executed successfully. Now we can head back to our database and refresh the table node. Our dim product table is persisted here. We can query it to validate the final output. We have the product category, subcategory, and the product details all in one table. So, this is how we can execute SQL files that are stored in a directory. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the session.